Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to have a look at two presentation titans in the industry. We're going to have a look at Prezi software and we're going to have a look at that old school PowerPoint and see what they actually offer and in today's day and age, which one you should be using. So without further ado, let's check it out. The first thing we're going to look at is Prezi. So Prezi has a dynamic presentation style. Prezi offers a zooming interface that allows for non-linear presentations like your traditional presentation software. You can easily navigate between your topics, creating much more of an engaging experience overall for you as well as whomever is watching your presentation. It also has lovely collaboration tools. Prezi excels in real-time collaboration making it easy for teams to work together regardless of their location. Also, there's tons of templates and designs for you to choose from and get started. With such a wide variety of these templates, you can really create visually striking presentations that really do stand out. The next thing we're going to look at is PowerPoint and I'm sure if you are looking at presentation software, you've probably used PowerPoint before and you've probably been using it for a while. So really it is familiar and accessible to many, many people for being on the market for so many, many years. And throughout the years, it has really just evolved and become something amazing. So um, PowerPoint, because it's widely used and understood, it makes it a lot easier for users to create presentations with the uh, you know without having that steep learning curve it also nowadays um, if you have been using it for many years even decades you'll find that it has extensive features such as animations transitions it's got a massive library of templates and um, it's pretty versatile for any presentation style that you would like to create it also has lovely integrations um, it integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft Office applications, enhancing your productivity and your workflow, and it also integrates with non-Microsoft products. One of the other things is that if you're using it as the desktop app, you will require a license or you, know, uh, you will require to purchase PowerPoint or the Microsoft Office package, but if you are using it in your web browser, it is actually free, even though it may have very very small limitations it is actually still free to use having a look at one or two of the drawbacks here from prezi's side a bit of a learning curve upon first using it it was a little bit challenging getting into understanding it but i think this is due to the fact that we are so used to maybe using powerpoint i've used powerpoint for many years so it's kind of like what i'm used to um, it also has limited offline access. It relies heavily on the internet. And of course, you know, as I mentioned previously with um, PowerPoint, if you are using the desktop version, then you don't need an internet a connection. But if you are using the browser version, of course, you're going to need an internet connection there. On PowerPoint side, um, the static presentation, while it does um, have some improved features and it has improved over the years, the traditional slide presentation can feel a little static and less engaging, comparing it directly now, obviously, to Prezi. And then there are some collaboration limitations as well. Although PowerPoint has improved its collaboration tool throughout the year, it can still lag a bit behind in real-time editing capabilities compared to other software. Now, in the battle of Prezi and PowerPoint, it ultimately depends on what your preferences are. My advice is to go and use both of these softwares and see which one suits your specific needs. If this video was truly helpful, go ahead and drop us a like and we'll see you next time.